Hey everyone, this is uh, Dr. Glad Let's up again. And today what we're gonna be looking at is uh, putting together an RC circuit on our breadboard. Uh, in this case, if you all remember, our breadboard doesn't have a switch, but the circuit actually needs a switch. So that's one of the things that we're actually gonna look at in this video, how to put together or how to add that switch to the uh, rest of the circuit that's actually gonna be put on the board. All right, so here's the uh, circuit that we're gonna be looking at. And so in our circuit, we have our uh, DC voltage source. We're gonna set it up to be four volts. We have a capacitor. The straight line on this side means that this side is a positive side and this side is a negative side. Uh, for our lab, we won't have an actual uh, polarized capacitor, but if you had a polarized capacitor though, what would happen is the positive side needs to be on that side. Uh, across the capacitor, we're going to connect our uh, veneer uh, lab quest which we're going to use to check the voltage across a capacitor and we also have a resistor in this circuit and then our switch now the type of switch that we will be using is what's called a single pole double throw and that's what the SPDT here stands for single pole double throw as you can see here this is our single pole and we can actually throw the switch the lever on the switch in two different directions one and two okay so this is our switch that we're going to use or the schematic symbol for the switch uh, now that we've seen that we're going to look at our simulated uh, circuit here and if you remember from the previous screen here we had our capacitor resistor and the center pole of the switch all in a series here okay the voltage source is connected uh, to the this side of the switch and also to the capacitor on this end and then we have a line that's going from the capacitor over to the other side of the switch so as I always recommend that you all do go ahead and put the circuit on the side uh, such that you can see here the capacitor is in series with the resistor which is uh, connected or would be connected to the center of our switch here we have our veneer which is going to be connected across the capacitor we have a bunch of wires and we have our our voltage source here which would be our power supply now the interesting thing is if we were to connect this across the board here honestly I don't know if it'd be as efficient to connect it the way that we've been normally connecting our circuits which was to connect them along the middle part here um, such that the components uh, worked here in the middle um, as we looked at the board vertically okay so what we're going to do in this case is rather than connecting our circuit vertically on the board we're gonna actually flip the board to the side and we're gonna connect it as shown here so in this case you can see our voltage supply is still connected to our terminals the positive side going to the red the negative side going to the black here we have our negative bus our positive bus we connect wires over to those right there and now because we have the capacitor here in the, the center we have the resistor here we're going to go ahead and uh, put the capacitor along here and I put a C here to indicate the capacitor and we're going to go ahead and put our resistor in here uh, such that remember on this row here they're all connected so that means these two legs are connected together so which means that we're connected right here all right uh, along here we're going to have our positive side of the voltage source being connected to the capacitor which is then connected to the veneer on the positive side and which is connected over here to a line we're going to use the bus over here as our line to represent this part over here and again we have our capacitor here capacitor here veneer uh, lab quest right here veneer lab quest here in the circuit okay and for our for our switch we're going to connect the uh, negative line over here to the this side of the switch just as we have the negative line over here to this side of the switch our positive line or pardon me the other side of the uh, switch here which is actually connected to the positive of the power supply okay is going to be connected to the other side of the switch and so we've done the same thing here Remember, this line is all connected, so that means it is connected to the positive side of the power supply, and that power supply is connected to the, this line going over here, this bus, and then it's connected uh, going along here. And it looks like I may have hit the uh, button already, so one line uh, disappeared, and so you kind of know what we're about to do next. We're actually going to remove the remainder of the holes that aren't being used so that we can kind of look at the circuit 
uh, as we intend it to be where you can see now it sort of looks like this okay and it's sort of set up uh, and the only holes that are remaining are the ones that are connected to our circuits all right so this would be how you I would suggest you could, there's a number of ways to actually do this but this would be how I would suggest you connect the uh, circuit uh, on the breadboard so that you can get um, the lab completed uh, all right again this is Dr. Clyde Letsom and so we're looking at RC circuits with an off-board switch uh, if you like this video go ahead and uh, like the video by actually clicking like uh, on my YouTube channel you can also uh, check out more information about myself on my website and you can uh, and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel look for more uh, physics engineering uh, related stuff uh, in the future